Hey guys, this is Currency Magic and it's in, in the evening, so I turn on my artificial lighting. But uh, I'm so sorry about those construction noise downstairs and to let the other, the natural light in is really tough for me as because if I open the door, we know the noise will all come in because of the construction downstairs. But anyway, let's get started with this deck review. Oh yeah, one more thing before I start. I want to say a, a really sincere apology because on my computer, I can't type, my keyboard is completely gone. I can't type a single word on my keyboard. So I think my computer is gone, so I had to get a new computer. So, uh, sorry for the delay of uploads. However, you will see more frequent uploads on my main channel and this channel right here once per week, right? Okay, now let's get started. Now, as you can see, the black art, we're gonna do a deck review on the black artist. I don't think it's a bit outdated, but it is still on sale on freeeleven.com. Now this deck is a really interesting pack of cards and I'll tell you why in a second. So you can see um, in the front of the box, you can see that there's a big pip in gold foil and some white uh, white background and some black uh, words over there. You can just take a look over there really quickly. Now one really special thing, sorry about the glare, but one of the really special thing about this box is that there is embossing lines. So we're gonna remove that. This, they are embossing. Well, it looks. It seems. It looks better with the plastic. There are embossing lines that looks like rays ranging out for the uh, from the ace of space. Okay, so on the side, there's some info. Really nothing important. On the back, you got the back design. Now this is not true. I will tell you why later. On the bottom is some copyright info. On the top is this artisan with a review sticker. Another sticker. The seal. It's a very interesting seal. Because on top of here it says 11 slash 12. You can see that it says 11 slash 12. And it says, I, I can't read it, but I got I got it cut. Anyway, it is, it's, this is brought out during Black Friday two years ago. And I really wanted this, wanted this deck. I got it last year, now I just opened it. So let's get started. On the flat, we get some more logo of the Guild of Artisans. On the side flat, it's nothing. And oh yeah, one thing that I would like to mention is that this um, that comes in a plastic, not not a plastic like this, but it's like a fully enclosed plastic. So it it's like a you know those kind of cheapo decks. You have those cellophane wrapping around the deck, so it looks like this. However, I do cut open a slip for me to put my deck so that I can protect it. Now I think after the review, I can just throw away the plastic because I don't really need it anymore. So um so this is the deck of cards. So why open why don't you open the deck? You get that plastic and you get a double backer and a three level at cards. Those are nothing important. So let's get on started with the Joker. Now the Joker looks really quite boring and it's not it's a bit off to the design and the the theme of the cards. So it is it doesn't look that nice to me. That's the Joker, the Jolly Joker, and uh, the back design. Yes, the back design is a really nice back design. Maybe you can see it better this way. It is a really nice back design, and it has metallic ink. However, it is not pron as pronounced as this. You can see obviously that it's just to fool you, but it is a really nice back design. Gold and black. All right, and you do get. It, it, custom is a spades with the design. The ace design is the same as this, except for the in the middle at the Guild Artisans logo. And you, you can see the rays coming out in gold. So that's really nice. That's a really nice ace. And it says black edition at the bottom because this deck comes in white as well. And you can see that um, the date that is produced. Okay, and uh, the rest of the ace is pretty standard. Nothing much to see here. Not the Joker, I'm sorry, the Jacks. They are all standard design but the custom coloring. So they, they look more how should, I, how should I put this in? They look because of the gold they look more uh, as like you can see that it's more it's a rich deck where only a rich person can get. So it looks really nice in my opinion. The queens are also uncustomized, just the color. Just the king. Suicide King and the rest of the cards is just standard cards. So the design of the rest of the deck is just standard except for the color of the red cards. 
The rate cost I only duck them maybe by one shade or two shades. It's not that pronounced and it's not that important. Because you really can't see the um, deep coloring of the red cards. Now well, enough of me babbling on with the design. Let's get started with the handling. Now the one reason, or well, the reason why I see this is a very interesting deck because of the handling. This deck is a really nice deck with a really nice stock. I heard that it's not it's not a uh, custom forest paper. It refill shuffle is great. Oh, that's my mistake. But uh, I'm not gonna refill shuffle because I'm afraid I'll bend too much and spoil the stock. But it is a really nice deck to play around with. You can see the spring is really nice and dribbles quite nicely as well. As you can see, fence. Yeah, perfectly even fence. So that is really fast there and um, farrowing. This deck ferals really easily, and as you can expect, with all kinds of USB CC deck. I've tried to do one giant fan, but I'm not good at giant fans, so you can still take a look at that. So, this is the giant fan. Now, because of the side design of the 311 over there, it looks really nice. So, that's the giant fan. I think this is a really nice deck of cards, so why not get it? It's only about, what, maybe 7 or 9 bucks on the 311.com for shipping, so it doesn't really cost a lot. It is a really nice deck, so go on, buy it, and I'll see you guys next time on YouTube and do expect more videos and sorry for the delay of uploads.